and giving our lives to the Lord. Praying, interceding, standing in the gap. Knowing that people need the Lord. Can we stand in the gap and, and sing these few lines? People need
Christ is all in all. He's more than enough for us. We share a relationship of dependency with Jesus. He can live without us. He's God. But we just can't live without Him. If He withholds His hand, we die. That's what the psalmist said. When He holds His hand back, the living creatures don't have the breath. Oh God, I pray that that will be our strength today. Christ, my all in all. Praise to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are our refuge, oh Father. You are our strength. You are our man. Go ahead and lift up the name of Jesus right now. And say, Lord, you're more than enough for me. More than enough for me, oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Christ is my
I want to tell you this morning, dear friend, one thought can change your life. One thought can change your life. The prodigal son squandered the father's wealth. At the end of the rope, he came down and lying down with the pigs, unable to eat anything. He looked at the pigs' food and I imagine that he almost put his hand into the pigs' food and the pots there. Probably unable to bear the hunger. At that moment, he had a realization, he had a thought. If I can go back to my father's house, if I can pick up myself, my dirty self, and, and just inch my way to my father's house, I know that he will receive me. I don't know whether he will take me as a son, but I know that the servants there have plenty to eat. He went back to the father's house. You know the story, the father ran to him. change his robe and put a turban on his head, a ring in his finger, the sandals on his feet and he said one thing, my son was lost but he made a U-turn and now he's found. It takes one thought to come to Jesus right now. No matter what your condition is, I don't know if you're viewing this video right from your sick bed. I don't know whether you're standing in gap for somebody today. I encourage you, go ahead. Sing this line and say, Lord, I'm coming back to you. I've decided to follow you. I just want to break the chain that's pulling me back and I'm coming back to you. Oh God, with arms wide open, I'm just coming back. Falling in the everlasting arms of the living God. disciples they begin to come 
and they know how to pray but Lord teach us to pray that was the cry and the Lord began to say and teach them the format that we are all familiar our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name and after that he began to tell a, a story to them Jesus was the greatest storyteller and he began to say and asking the disciples to put them in the shoe of the friend and he began to say if one of your friend let me call it friend A if you have a friend A Jesus said he comes from a long journey and knocks at midnight on your door uh -huh. look at the time midnight and he asks for bread and you know that in your house you don't have bread you checked up your kitchen refrigerator your storehouse there is no bread and you know that you don't want to send your friend away he's come from a very long journey and what you do is you you go to friend B right in the midnight and you begin to knock your door or his door rather not for your need but your friend's need look at the level of intercession that Jesus is teaching his disciples it's not for bread that you want to eat it's for the bread of your friend who's come from a long journey and so you begin to knock at the door of your friend B Luke chapter 11 and verses 7 the Bible says or Jesus said and suppose the one inside answers don't bother me that's a no for the answer the door is already locked that is no for an answer and my children are in bed that is no for an answer I can't get up that's no for an answer I can't give you bread no for an answer probably five no's there no 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 I can't get up it's midnight hey friend why don't you come tomorrow you see my children are in bed it was it was a door shut again 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 no 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 it was so easy for this friend to give up and probably even for you to give up I know what is bothering you I want to encourage you in the name of the Lord I don't know how many knows you have heard in your life when it came to prayer but look at what Jesus was teaching there I tell you even though he will not get up and give you bread because of friendship yet because of your shameless audacity he will surely get up and give you as much as you are in need wow friendship will not impress friend B it's not your relationship for years it's not the good times it's not the childhood all the revelries that you have but Jesus underlined one feature when it came to prayer shameless audacity audacity means dare to take a risk you wait at the door called no you wait and you shamelessly knock shamelessly seek shamelessly be there crying out you keep asking and asking daring risk shamelessly that will open the door do you have that audacity can I encourage you right in that moment of crisis that we are in there's one feature of prayer that we all need to rise up to shameless audacity risk yourself in the presence of God and Jesus began to, to sign off by trying to say this wonderful truth if you know how to give gifts to your children in Luke 18 how much more your father in heaven will give you the Holy Spirit ask and keep on asking seek and keep on seeking knock and keep on knocking yes you will have the answer he defines the answer he designs the answer but one thing you can do in prayer prayer can run ahead of you prayer can wait for you in the door call tomorrow in future send in your prayers pray right now for the city pray for yourself pray for your family 
pray and get to know that He is our God. Great are you, Lord. Great in mercy. Great in compassion. Great in power. We worship you, Father. We worship you. We praise you. We bless your name. Holy be your name, Lord. We want to thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh, you give life. You are love. You bring light to the darkness. You give hope. You restore every heart.
is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the breath that we breathe, thine is the life that we live. To you be the glory, you are our sufficiency, O oh God. You are more than enough. We come to you with shameless audacity. We bow before you and we worship you, knowing that you will share us. You hear our prayer. We bless you, we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you all. Amen.